Emotional stress. The emotions and attitude toward life will likely change in the direction of boredom, restlessness. For many of us, stress and anxiety have become a part of our daily experience. And we fail to notice their harmful effects. It can build up gradually over days, weeks, and months until we eventually recognize symptoms of the emotional or behavior. There are both physical and cognitive effects of stress. Biological products include tight muscles, rapid and increased blood pressure and heart rate, adrenaline secretion, and sweating. May consist of difficulty concentrating and anxiety can be a disorder in its own right in the form of psychophysiological disorders, phobias. It is also the engine or driving force behind such disorders as self-medicating by substance abuse. The performance of obsessive compulsive rituals, domestic while stress is sometimes unavoidable and often even desirable i.e., exciting situations, it is necessary to develop techniques to manage stress so that it doesn't build up. It is helpful to think of ourselves as having a range of reactions to stress at its various levels. At the very lowest levels of stress, we might feel peaceful and relaxed, although if we spend too much time at these low levels, we might find that we are not challenging ourselves and might we might be dysfunctional at the highest stress levels as the excess tension and energy is channeled into symptoms as men in the middle with moderate levels of stress we might find an optimal level in which we are genuinely engaged in an active and productive life and yet not over that threshold where we cannot integrate our stress management techniques can be used to moderate the buildup of stress as stress levels rise throughout the day we can employ our relaxation methods to reduce the buildup and return to lower. Our stress levels will again rise after we finish practicing our exercises, but from a lower plateau. As the days and weeks pass, instead of experiencing ever-increasing stress levels, we can manage to contain the pressure to tolerable levels below that threshold where dysfunctions. We can learn to self-monitor and become more in touch with our minds and bodies by practicing our stress management techniques regularly. We can become more conscious and therefore have more choice. The key to effective stress management and relaxation is to learn to recognize the level of stress we are experiencing at any given moment. To be able to do this, we must become very relaxed and then notice the difference between the open and tense state. Matthew, a cancer-slash-stroke patient whose PhD was obtained, I'd like to ask you to help him raise awareness of health issues by sharing this. Value. Please take the time to subscribe to and like this video.